What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Figure 2 in 1 review. Burn it down! So welcome to our second video of today guys. I hope you guys do not mind. I just got these SummerSlam Elites in the mail and I was like holy poo poo on my new poo. I gotta get these things up to you guys. I cannot wait to crack Seth and Dean out of their packaging. This morning we did a WWE Elite Series 59 review of Finn Balor and The Miz. And yesterday we did Kurt Angle and Zack Ryder. Definitely go check those out on the channel. Um, pretty good reviews up of those guys. I love those figures so much. So definitely check those out. But today we're going to be getting into these SummerSlam Elites guys. I can't wait any longer. So let's go ahead and slam these hoes. So here we have Seth freaking Rollins and Dean Ambrose out of their boxes, guys. They look absolutely great. I am loving this Seth Rollins to death. I'm um, very happy with the way this comes out at first glance before we take a closer look. Dean Ambrose, it's it's hard to say, guys, because I, I'm going to be honest with you. He, all of his figures are exactly the same. Um, this is basically just a re-release of the new Dean Ambrose, but they, they lessened it. It's sort of like a combination of the uh, Elite 41 and the Elite 58 and the, I don't know, man. They're, they're all like the same. Um, it does have the shirt with the Elite 58. It doesn't have tape, though. He's supposed to have black tape, but I got us covered because I'm going to be switching these arms on there so it's accurate to SummerSlam. And um, if you remove the shirt, you got, you know, the accurate tank top, the black tank top that it always comes with. And, um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at Dean's accessories, then Dean, and then we'll take a closer look at Seth's accessories, and then Seth. So getting into Dean Ambrose's accessories, guys, we have this shirt right here, which is great. It is cloth. This is the second time we have gotten this. We got this with the Elite 58 Dean Ambrose, and I don't even know why they included this with the SummerSlam Elite Dean Ambrose, because at SummerSlam 2017, he wore a hoodie with a red DA on there, his Dean Ambrose logo, and that would have been sick to come with this figure. I would have loved to see that. Why didn't we get that instead of this shirt? I don't know. I guess they were like, well, we had it with the Elite 58. It just released. Just throw this in there, so I don't know why they did that. And, of course, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship, which we have seen countless times, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but I'm happy to have another one of these in my collection. So getting into Dean's figure, guys, we have seen this head scan a million times before. I can't even count how many times we've seen this head scan, so I'm not really going to get into that. We've seen this torso multiple times, and you know what this figure is? This figure is the exact network spotlight figure with, a, with different accessories. That's pretty much what this figure is. There's not much to it at all. You get a Raw Tag title instead of a WWE Championship, and instead of a Money in the Bank briefcase, you get a Dean, no Dean, no good Dean goes unhinged. So that's basically what you get, you know. So this figure is just like every other Dean Ambrose. You have the saturated pants. I would have loved if they gave him the Elite 58 pants. I think the Elite 58 are the best pants that they have ever done for Dean. And um, let me know down in the comment section below if uh, I should get a custom hoodie made from SummerSlam 2017. Even if you vote no, I'm still going to get it. So get Getting into some Dean Ambrose comparisons. And you can't forget selling cigarettes behind the gym, Dean Ambrose. So here's a good view of all of them lined up, guys, uh, or at least all the ones in the jeans here. You have the new one in the middle, and you see, here's the Elite 48. It's just lighter jeans and no wrist tape. And I actually ordered the money or the network spotlight Dean Ambrose the other day, and it's supposed to come in tomorrow. So um, maybe I can upload a picture. It's literally the exact same figure, like the same pants color, same head scan, same arm, same everything. And I'm definitely going to be switching these hands on there, though. So that way it is accurate to uh, SummerSlam. I will be doing that for sure. But this is all the Dean Ambrose is. I mean, this figure is literally basic. So let's go ahead and get straight into Seth Rollins. So getting into Seth freaking Rollins accessories. You got his freaking Raw tag title. We've seen that, so get that out of my face. Here is his entrance vest. Why? Why? What in the hell is that right there? Look at these little blotches right there. I don't know if you can see that little smear right there. There's another smear right there. I hope I can actually get that off with acetone. Hopefully I can. Uh, or that's going to be disappointing. Golly. And it's like so shimmery. You can't really see it. Yeah, there you go. A little bit. But uh, you see the lines going down here. I don't know what this little red slot is right there. Um, yeah, I don't know what that little red line is right there. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Kind of inconsistent there. But this is pretty cool. You got the black on the sides. SR logo on the back. Not much more to this thing, but um, hopefully y'all's is, uh, you know, a little bit cleaner than mine. Um, again, I need to acetone that paint off there, but that does it for his accessories, guys. Let's get into Seth freaking 
Rollins. So getting into Seth, guys, let's start off with that head scan. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen, a zoom in. We have seen this head scan before. We saw it with the Target exclusive NXT Rollins. We've also seen it on some other basics. And I believe this is that new face scan technology, which is why the facial hair looks so good. I can agree that the facial hair looks good, but it gets a little messy right there on the cheek. I may have to acetone that off, make that look a little bit neater. I don't know how I feel about that. This isn't my favorite head scan. I don't know why people go nuts over this head scan. It's solid, but it's not my favorite at all. I think that the cash-in, the Toys R Us exclusive, and the Elite 37, those are my favorite. And I think I like the smiling head scan more than this one as well. I just, I don't know. Um, also a little bit dirtier on this cheek. Um, nah, it's a little bit better there, but I definitely need to take care of that little hair over there. I don't think his beard was uh, that rough. So I'll definitely take care of it that, but going down, same hairy chest. I like this better for Seth Rollins. I think this figure is so complete. When they add the chest hair and stomach hair to the Seth, I think that it's so nice. Uh, spinning it around, you do have his back tattoo right there. And here on the wrist, this is a very interesting thing. You can see there that he has a small SR logo right there and the black and red going all the way around. That is freaking nice. I love these wrist gauntlets. You could actually buy a second one of these Seth Rollins and then, you know, pop it on the TNF, remove the paint, and then you'd have that. Uh, you know that attire that I was talking about the um, the black and gray one with the red uh, SR logo on the knee pad but going down into the pants right here guys you have the belt painted on there I like the way that looks I would prefer sculpted on there like we saw with the Elite 57 but that's still nice going down you have the SR logo on the side I like this red color I believe that if you took like some gloss mod, po mod podge and you applied it over all the red, it would really bring this thing to life and make it look like how it did on SummerSlam 2017. You got the black panel going down on that side. Open knee pads like he had them, looking freaking great. And the kick pads looking great as well. I think these are accurate. You got the black going in through the red on the backs there. Jesus, this is nice, man. I love Seth Rollins figures. I actually have to make a confession here. So in my top 10 favorite current WWE superstars, uh, you know, I did a lot of thinking about that, and I used to say that I wasn't the biggest fan of Seth Rollins, but I came to the realization the other day that I am, in fact, indeed a pretty big Seth Rollins fan, man. I, I took a look at it, and I was like, you know what? If he was a heel right now, he would probably be one of, if not my favorite, uh, current superstar. Like, I am enjoying the hell out of Seth Rollins. I enjoy him a lot. I've always liked him, but I just never thought that he was one of my favorites in the company, but now... I realize that he is, and so I apologize to Seth Rollins and uh, uh, to all the Marks out there that are Seth Rollins fans. But anyways, guys, let's take a look at some Seth Rollins figure comparisons. So this is every long tight Seth Rollins in my collection besides some uh, duplicates that I have in my collection. I have a few of the E4552 TNF and so forth. And I have a lot of Shield Rollins and the NXT Rollins. So I'm not going to compare those, but as you see, guys... Um, I love the way all of these Rollins look up next to each other. You sort of have like a rainbow going. Obviously, this blue one is a fantasy custom that I did. You got the WrestleMania 34, Elite 57, Elite 52, the Cash-In Exclusive, E45, TNF, and the Elite 37. And I love all of these figures. I wish I had more of this head scan, the serious head scan, to pop on here. Um, I have one of them on my Shield Elite, but it's for the pick fed, and I don't feel like popping it on there. I may do it for pictures and stuff, but I am... Uh, I'm loving this Summer Sam, SummerSlam Rollins. It is freaking beautiful. I love the red color, and this figure is an easy early contender for figure of the year, in my opinion. Here's a shot of the new SummerSlam Seth Rollins with the Intercontinental Championship, being as he is the current Intercontinental Champion. And here's a shot of the new Seth freaking Rollins sport in the Universal Championship that matches his attire. And here's a shot of the entire shield with... The fix up Dean Ambrose with the arm swap. We got the Universal Champion Roman Reigns sporting the red gear to match his brother's tag titles and Seth Rollins' gear all forming together there in uniform. But that is going to do it for this review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I definitely recommend picking up this Seth Rollins SummerSlam Elite. I think it is easily a contender for figure of the year behind Kurt Angle right now, guys. Both of those are definitely on the list. This Dean Ambrose is an easy pass. If you have like pretty much any other Dean Ambrose, it could always work. If you have the money, in the bank or the network spotlight Dean Ambrose that will totally work if you have the Elite 58 I definitely recommend just keeping the Elite 58 um, this is literally no different than any other Dean Ambrose but I do enjoy both figures I just love collecting Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins figures and I'm a big Seth Rollins fan now as you heard earlier and uh, Dean Ambrose I, I expect him to come back from injury hopefully he'll be better you know he's been boring for the last year or so so hopefully I can get behind his character as well 
Thank you guys for enjoying the video. If you did, leave a like down below if you like the figures or the review. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. Follow me on Instagram at MyDamnToys and on Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.